to the DIY Detail Garage today. We've got a really special vehicle to do. Well, Ivan, where's the vehicle, dude? The vehicle is out there. It doesn't quite fit in the garage. Well, you said we were doing a Fiat. No, we're doing what pulls the Fiat. Yeah, we're cleaning a bus. The infamous LaCroix Cruiser. Yes, so it's my home, but I like to keep it clean. This is what Ivan does. He has me clean the wheels, and now I'm cleaning his house. Yeah, but just the outside. And, you know, we're not doing a foam cannon comparison here. It's just, it's gonna take all of this to do it. So you gotta have incredible suds. Yeah, so we have incredible suds. We've got different foam cannons loaded up. We happen to have a few here, so we'll give them all a try. And we have quick beads to finish it off in style. Quick beads is a great way. It's a water activated ceramic. So you spray it on a wet panel and then you spray it off. You hose it off. You hose it off. And yeah. that way you've got quick beads in your bottle. It's got the graphene protection in there. It becomes slicker to the touch, which what is this even bed liner? It's bed liner. Yeah. yeah. So, so we're less worried about scratching, but it does benefit from protection as well, right? Oh, definitely. And we'll be brushing it and rinsing it off with DI water. So we've got a DI water system here, the CR spotless system. So we'll be rinsing it off so we don't have to go around drying it. We will use a ladder just to dry the windows. Even though the spotless water doesn't leave spots, I like drying the windows. For the home enthusiast that might have an RV, that might have a boat, that's you know, something a little bigger, a travel trailer, whatever, well, this will show them how to wash it simply and easily. With and if two you, products. Yeah, with a couple of products. And if you don't have a spotless system, not a big deal at least dry the windows off. Uh, in most RVs, most boats are gel coat. It isn't as reflective as automotive paint. So, you know, same as this, it's bed liner, not as reflective as automotive paint. So if we have a, a little bit of residue, it's not gonna show. On this, water spots don't exist. But on the windows, I like to keep them clean, so. Perfect. Very good. So let's hook up the foam cannon and away we go. Which one would you like to start with? Oh, I'm partial to the MJJC. So the red and black? Yeah. Off we go. And I know you haven't done this a lot in your life, so I'll let you play with the brush. Oh, I'm using a very high quality, uh, low scratch risk, recommended for Ferraris. <laughs> Okay, what the heck is this thing? I would so never use this. That's a flag tip nylon brush. Okay. It's the same as our wheel and body brush, just a lot bigger. Okay, I feel like I'm ready to hurt somebody. So let's move the cart out of the way. So Ivan, you're gonna foam first. You go low, top, top, low, what's your strategy? I'm gonna bottom up, foam, work my way down the bus. We're not in direct sunlight, so not a big deal. Doesn't this bus create its own weather patterns? Like you've <laughs> created shade for us with this thing. Pretty much, yeah. It's like a wildfire where all of a sudden they get thunderstorms. Okay, I'm gonna start washing. Just in case you're wondering, we are trying different dilution ratios. So that's why this isn't our normal Incredible Suds foaming, but uh, this is actually half an ounce of Incredible Suds to 30 ounces of water. So we're really trying to play around with at what is the lowest dilution to save you as much money as possible to use the least amount of product. Can you get awesome results? I wanted to put more foam in there and Ivan said, no, stick to half an ounce. I'm always a more is better guy, Ivan's a smarter more efficient detailer, so he, uh, he's keeping us in line today. And actually, we're using a lot less than I thought we would. We're almost halfway down the bus, and we haven't emptied a foam cannon yet. Yeah, you loaded us up with five foam cannons. I was like, all right. So 
So we managed to empty one. I'll go get another. And how's that unnatural feeling of brushing going for you? I don't know, I've never done this before. Can you do this on gel coat on an RV? It seems a little dangerous. Yeah, you definitely can do gel coat on an RV. Now in this one, so same foam cannon, same brand, same adjustment, everything. But now we have one ounce of incredible sets. So can you see a difference? Oh my God, that's way <laughs> suzzier. Why did we do half ounce, Ivan? We're just playing around. All right. So even though the dilution ratio isn't that big of a deal, it's still important to have the right dilution ratio. And this is a great illustration of why. Kind of figuring out my method, you know? When you do a job and you try different things, yeah. figure out what's the most efficient and least effort involved. Do you have any strategy tips, Ivan? Get it clean. Get it clean. The bed liner, we did that for a reason. Uh, we don't want to be washing the bus every day. And had it been painted, our OCD would have taken over and we would have been washing the bus every day. This way we can drive it and forget it. Now, while Nick is doing his normal thing with the wheels, I've got quick beats. So I've rinsed off part of the bus and the Tulco sprayers, they're really nice. We can adjust how they shoot. So now I'm able to get the quick beads all the way up there. Once I get it adjusted, there we go. So now I can get the quick beads up on the windows where I need it to be. And when I get lower, I get more of a traditional spray, get the quick beads there. And I break, break the bus into sections. That way I don't have to worry about overspray, things like that. And we'll start agitating and impacting the quick beads, spreading it around with the pressure washer. can see where I have the quick beads, I have dramatically less water on the surface than I do where I don't have the quick beads. So the quick beads in itself is going to help us dry and then the quick pass with the DI system and we're good. pressure wash off, apply the quick beads. Look at the incredible suds still clinging to that paint. We have a couple of things working for us. One, we're out of direct sunlight. Two, incredible suds clings forever. And then three, knowing that I'm right behind them with this DI water. The big help here is that demineralized water, that spotless water, uh, obviously as I follow behind him. And Nick, I think we may have overdone the foam on the wheels though. You think? Yeah, there's a little bit of foam here. I'd appreciate you not getting me wet. Well, uh, it's kind of fun, actually. I know, it probably is. It was an accident, Ivan. <laughs> yeah, right. That smile on your face wasn't, isn't saying, it, I haven't done the uh, quick beads yet. yet. No. So we can see the cleaning was actually a little better where we had the higher dilution of uh, Incredible Suns as well. More is always better. Yeah, not always. Not always. Yeah, as soon as it hits the bus, the beating immediately happens. Yeah. And the water starts to rush away as well. Now, one thing that we'll see when we get around to doing the back end of the bus, it's really, really dirty. Because, well, we went down a really long gravel road. The turbo nozzle really spreads it well, okay. especially with the, uh, the textured surface of the bed liner. We want to work it into the pores. While 
while you're watching this, you could hit that subscribe button and even the notification bell. What's the biggest thing you've washed before? Have you washed a big RV? Have you washed a house using a foamer? What have you washed with a foamer that was really big? We're running out of hose for well, the DIY. Well, Sylvie's got another hose there. Oh She's gonna goodness. hook you up. I think I may just have to accidentally spray Ivan. I can do the same, you know. I know. No, never spray anyone with a pressure washer. So it's taken us all of 15 minutes, and we have half the bus done. Not that bad. And Nick even did the wheels. Now, we're gonna be doing part of the bus next that is visually the most pleasing for us and for a lot of people as well, because at this point, we're doing the back of the bus, and the back of the bus is where you got all that lack of aerodynamic flow around the bus that creates a turbulence back there and just covers the back end in whatever happens to be on the road. So let's move the camera to the back of the bus. Ivan, you have promised a foam show here. This will be a foam show. This, you know, drag racers like to do a smoke show. Well, we're gonna be doing a foam show here. So we've boosted this to one and a half ounces. Not too much more, but we want the most thickest, luxurious foam we can get. And just watch this. So now we've got a bit of foam on it. We'll let the foam do its thing, dwell, and then we'll get in there with the brush, rinse it off, and we'll see just how clean we can make the back end of this bus. So Nick was a little timid with his brushing. Uh, this is bed liner, we can go at it. So. You know, Ivan thinks I was timid, but in fact, it was all strategy for him to show me a better technique. I said, you know, maybe you should really show me the technique by doing it all. So it's actually strategy, Ivan. Yeah, I get it. Would you like me to, to continue? Oh, we're almost there. You're doing an awesome job. I admire the technique. It's almost like you've watched a bus before. It's not my first rodeo, nor my first bus. How many buses have you owned? This is the third one. Actually, I've owned more, but that we've actually lived in, this is the third one. Give it another little scrub. Because the incredible suds is holding on forever. Yeah, even though we've scrubbed it, we've rubbed it, it's still there. Still doing its thing. Suds dwelled for, I don't know, 15 minutes until Easily, we yeah. to clean it. Um, we've applied the quick beads, but it required a little bit of agitation as opposed to just basically touching the bus on the other side. Right, the back end of the bus gets really, really hammered. Everything that's on the road, around the road, near the road, because of the, we'll say, aerodynamics of the bus, uh, just ends up in a vortex back here, just covering the bus. So, with that... Ooh, a LaCroix Vortex, sounds like a good band name. There you go. And let's rinse the quick beads off here, because we are in direct sunlight up there, so. Ivan, right, you've sprayed the quick beads off. I'm gonna use the DI water to make sure we don't get any water spots. Exactly. Now it's very crucial to have Ivan downwind. Of yeah, the, exactly. Uh, of That's why I'm moving to this side. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It doesn't have to be flush in the panel. We already did that. We're just trying to let water that dries be non-water spot creating. Exactly. Was that the scientific way yeah. of describing that? So let's move on to the other side. And just like that, Ivan, we have a 
clean LaCroix Cruiser bus. Thank you very much, Nick. Now, in this we learned that the dilution of incredible suds matters a little bit, but not that much actually. Yeah. Half an ounce wasn't enough. One ounce was a sweet spot. One and a half was just a little extra foam. And it was that's fun, it wasn't necessary. Right, and that's one ounce to 32 ounces. So, or 25 milliliters to a liter. What'd you think? Your I first experience say, washing something this size. I wanna say the the variable that I think made the most difference yeah. wasn't so much how much foam it was, but how long we let it dwell. Yeah. Because incredible suds will dwell 15 minutes. Oh, easily. And we and had the right shade conditions, and so we felt safe letting it do that. Yeah. And those areas where we let it dwell, it cleaned a lot better. Right, and the brushing was almost superfluous. Yeah, except for on the rear. Yeah, the back of the bus, definitely the brushing was a necessity. Thanks, if you have any questions, comments, thoughts, or ideas, leave them below. And I'm sure he's gonna point up here and talk to you. A uh, playlist about incredible suds from other YouTubers as well. Yeah, not just they us. They have reviewed it, they seem to love it. Yeah. So check that out, and we will see you there. Have fun.